So, gang, we have a uh, special guest here as we watch the, I think this is the featherweight finals of the Women's World Championship Black Belt. We have uh, Ronda Rousey with us. Hey, what's up? How are you? Uh, Jiu-Jitsu, I mean, <laughs> more known for your MMA activity. Yeah. And your judo. Yeah. Yeah, technically I'm a Jiu-Jitsu white belt, but um, I consider uh, judo and Jiu-Jitsu to be pretty interchangeable, just, you know. Jiu-Jitsu is like 80% ground and 20% standing, and I think Judo is the opposite, you know, whereas I was kind of raised to do 50-50, so I kind of think of it as all being pretty much the same, you know. It's all the same art. It comes from the same base. You train in Northern California or outside, you know, this kind of San Fran, uh, San Jose area. There's a lot of Judo up there, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of Judo in the Bay Area. I got a lot of friends up there that fight. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Cahill's up there, and then there's also uh, San Jose State University is one of the few uh, Judo programs that's uh, in a college. You can get, like, a college you know, scholarship through Judo, and that's one of the few schools where you can do that. Yeah. So what are your thoughts as you watch this? I mean, is this your first time at the World Championships watching yeah, you know, actually, I, I fought in uh, Long Beach here a few times doing judo. They have the Nikkei games here, and I have a couple, like, judo tournaments here, so it's kind of cool to see it, like, um, under the whole, like, jujitsu, like, different community. It's actually entirely different. The crowd seems a lot more lively and happy to be here than at <laughs> judo tournaments. It seems like a lot of parents just want to get the hell out of there like, when I was here before, so this is cool. It looks like a, like a real professional event, and they have, like, you know, the cranes and all this great, like, production, and, and I'm super impressed, man. This is cool. Rhonda, would you ever con consider competing in jiu-jitsu? Dude, I wanted to fight today. I just saw those last two girls fight. I was like, dude, I'll take that big girl out. <laughs> Give me a gi, but I can't really do that right now. I didn't even need a warm-up. I was ready to jump in, but I guess, uh, you know, as time goes on, spontaneity is, you know, something I can't really afford. Yeah. Well, you've got a lot on the line. You've got a big professional career underway these days, right? Yeah, yeah. Things are, things are going great. <laughs> Busy. Do you, what do you have in terms of observations about the judo that you see among the girls here? Uh, I mean, I I mean these girls technically wise on the ground look awesome. I think, you know, on the ground they're definitely way better than the girls in judo. You know, we've never really allowed to um, really put that much emphasis on it. You had to go out of your way to be good on the ground in judo. Or, you know, I, I've seen some pretty cool takedowns and like flying arm bars and stuff, you know, that you only see once in the blue moon in MMA or judo are commonplace here. So that's kind of cool. I'm actually learning a lot today too. I saw a lot of the this one choke where the guy pulled the skirt of the gi up through the armpit and choked him out. I never saw that before. I'm gonna have to <laughs> go look back through the videos today. Here's a good question for you: How often do you train in the gi? I really don't do that much gi anymore, to be honest. Um, I did so many years with the gi that I have to get used to people not having handles anymore. You know, that was a habit I had for so long. And um, but I think that starting in the gi is the best thing for you because people are way harder to catch when they're wearing a gi. It's much easier to be defensive with a gi on. Um, whereas with no gi, you know, it's uh, it's easier to escape out of things and positions change a lot faster. So I mean, there's a, it's a lot of great habits that you can get from the gi that translate over. But right now, I'm trying to forget my bad habits that don't translate over. So are you actually prohibited from putting a gi on? Prohibited? Who's going to stop me? <laughs> I wouldn't stop you. Yeah. <laughs> there's a question for you in the chat room, Rhonda. Would you consider fighting in the ADCC if you were invited? What's ADCC? The Abu Dhabi Combat Club. It's oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how like, the chat sounds. I sound dumb now. Um, dude, I would love to. It sounds really cool. It sounds like a great event. You know, when I was doing judo, I was always jealous of when I heard about that. I was like, what? The jiu-jitsu people get paid what? <laughs> to do what? Over where? This is not fair. So, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to do. I'd just kind of hit all the martial arts at one time, you know? Just kind of come full circle. We'll put in a good word for you then. All right, thanks. Hey, where are you training now, Rhonda? Um, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm back in LA. I'm all over the valley. I'm at Glendale Fighting Club and um, Highest End, SK Golden Boys, and I did my strength conditioning at Results. And um, what's it called? I go to Eddie sometime. I was thinking of stopping by Crohn's school this week. But um, yeah, that's the cool thing about LA. There's so many clubs and everything all over the place. And you just kind of spontaneously jump around. I don't have one place that I'm at all the time. It's like wherever you feel like going and doing that day, you do it. Because why not? Talisa.
Right. It's a cool thing about being a fighter. You just go and do whatever you feel like pretty much every day. As long as it helps you to be a better fighter. We, we get that vibe from you that not many folks tell you what to do, Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, they're like, hey, if you want to come do this broadcast, you got to go up around and over there. The referee is right here. And I was like, dude, I don't compete in jiu-jitsu. What are you new to me? I just jumped over to the gate and came over here. Good job, security. <laughs> so, 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 Rhonda, what, any last messages to our audience out there before you... Yeah, Split. this oh, this girl's actually going for one of my favorite up bars. But uh, no, this is amazing to, to see all these girls fighting, and um, I'm glad that people are taking time out of their day to watch these, these girls roll around and show what they can do because, you know, they deserve people's, um, you know, respect and attention. Yep. We agree, and we appreciate you sitting with us, Rhonda. Thanks a bunch. It was nice meeting you. Thank you for having me, guys. Take it easy. See you later. That's not cool, though, chat. Lysangela Fernandez and Erica Cohia, can you please come to the warm up area with your gi on? Lysangela Fernandez and Erica Cohia, can you please come to the warm up area with your gi on, Okay, this is Caleb. I'm back with you guys out there uh, in the Budo chat room, the audience online. Thanks for joining us. We're in the finals of the featherweight division, if I'm not mistaken, with Leticia Hibero. And her opponent, Miriam Carlos. Leticia is up five to zero after almost seven minutes. On paper, this is about how you would expect it to turn out given Leticia's dominance of this division for many years. She's the leader of the Gracie Humaita competition team and is responsible for putting together the camp with Bia Mesquita, who just won the gold, Penny Thomas, uh, Many big names like Mackenzie Dern. Like we might be seeing the end of this match yes. here. Eight to zero got a after eight choke. minutes. Leticia Hibero is uh, about to finish this one. It looks like we're back with Braulio Estima. Braulio, thanks for joining us with Budo Jake. Thank you guys. Yeah. I'm glad to be back for the for the finals. Yeah. Tell us about some of your opinions on what you've seen recently. Oh man, it's like uh, beyond my expectations. The fight, you know, it was great to see uh, Pedro Pano showing up a great, great show against Buchecha. You know, because that shows that um, once you become an absolute champion, it's not for by accident, you know, and he it, it shows that he's up there, you know, he hasn't been fighting so often like Bushesha, but, you know, he put up a good show. You know, I guess if the fight was only another five minutes, he would have the, the advantage out of it. I think that was maybe the hardest fight Bushesha may have had so far, and I don't want to discount Adolfo Vieira's fight yesterday, but it was um, a different Bushesha, a slower, more tired Bushesha, I would say, than we've seen the rest of the weekend. Yeah, for sure. Um, I would say, you know, it's, uh, it's that thing, it's not about, I don't think it's only because he was tired before the fight, just because he got tired d during the fight due to the game yes. comparison, you know, like, you know, like that sometimes the game doesn't match. Uh, Bushesh, uh, Petty Pan is a very heavy guy and uh, he w uses a lot and very well his weight on the right time so uh, Bushesh cannot move him as much as he would move anybody else on the lighter division you know so uh, things that he could do with Rodolfo he couldn't even start with, with uh, Petty Pan, you know which makes the fight much harder for him you know and I understand exactly what he means because he fights he, all his fights is, is based on, on speed 
and then get to the right quick position. Well, that was a good yeah, one. Nice arm lock. Yeah, almost there. an arm lock Only there. 20 it's seconds left in this match. 12 to 0. Letitia is up. Wow, yeah. this is a nice foot lock. Unless there's no surprises like an arm lock like that, Letitia's got this. Yeah. So Letitia yeah, Letitia's going to bring home another gold medal for her trophy case. Good job. Yeah. Letitia Hibero, the leader of the biggest women's world's training camp down in San Diego. It's very good to see Letitia winning again. Yeah. Right there. Great leader for the women. Very good. A role model for women, uh, women training jiu-jitsu everywhere. Yeah. 